Okay guys, so I cut one inch by three in here. It doesn't matter how long is it, just only make sure it's cover the gap, this one, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this one in half because I want it to go between this. Okay, I find it easy if I do this to make sure this one go in, in there without breaking the paper. Hold it on right here. Let me scale the stone guys. So now I'm going to peel this one off. And I'm gonna insert that one in there. Now we want to put the pressure in the bandage there. On the side right there see this one is gonna be up flat so pretty good and also I'm gonna do with this one so I'm going to do on the between part and then go do on the side like that See? Right there, and now we'll move to this one. I think my phone is uh, flooding alert, guys. You can hear it. I think the TV is alerting. Uh, TV alerting, not mommy phone. I'm pretty sure mommy phone alert too. Same thing. I'm gonna burnish between there and on the side. Right there. Now you want to use adhesive on here on this around the paper. I know, right? There's a lot of work, a lot of adhesive. So, I'm going to use this adhesive from the edges here. And I'm gonna do on the corner here. I just want this to fall really nice on the corner. Now, I'm gonna fold on this both sides first before I go into that one. So I'm gonna, you know, burnish on the corner there, there. so it doesn't get into like a point, you know what I mean? And also I'm gonna do on this one. Now 
and I'm going to start the top one first. And um, I think I want I will start this one first, sorry. We'll go back to that one, but I always like to do this one first. So when you start with this corner, and I'm gonna start but um burn it down into the hole but like that all we burn is that first and then right there and we'll start with this again and burn is that And then it's this one. See, and this one, just be careful with this guy, you don't want to break this. You will be mad if you break or crack, yeah. So be careful. Be careful on edges too, you want to burnish them, make it like a smooth, okay, how would that look so far? Like that, and burnish that one. I always like to push this one and in before. Bef Sometimes it's getting like a wrong direction. You know what I mean? Now this looks pretty good. Do the same thing with this one. So burn it that hole. Do it like that. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I say the hole. Burn it that one. looking pretty good so far so that is my cover now for the binding so this is gonna be a binding right there right so what you will need is a crab cut stuck um, Hang on guys, so let me go grab the paper and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So I cut this paper at 3 and 3 8. Okay, this I want to this one first. This one 3 and 3 8 by 1 and 3 8. Okay, so and this one is 3 and 3 8 by two and one eight this one three and three eight by two seven eight so all these you want to score both sides is half inch okay this is what I want my Biting to be okay. So 
same with this one half inch both side. Be careful you don't want to crack it. I almost did. So you're gonna fold both skull line. And also this one, half inch. I know this a little smaller because I want my the gap between our three eight three eight inch. The gap between is paper bag. Okay. So now we're going to so you're gonna put adhesive this adhesive on here this one and put it right there it's on the center and also this one and this one so you're gonna use your adhesive This one eight inch is a skull tip. The bunnies make sure this one stick tight. And do the same thing with this one, so I'm gonna use the one inch skull tip. Shh. Cody, be quiet, please. Sorry. I know, guy, it's dumb. So you want to burnish this. Okay. Now you want to put this one light up. Make sure this is light up. So what am I doing? I want this. See. So I'm going to mark this way. I want to put this one. Otherwise this will not stay on the center. Um, I can't mark, so it will make make a a marker, so you will see. So I'm gonna score this so I can see the line where I should put this one. Okay.
Now we're gonna burn it, please. Same thing with this one. You do binding this way, you have to do a pair, you cannot do a uh, five because you're gonna have problem doing this, the binding. So, but if you fold like, um, if you do binding different, you that one you can do odd number. But for this binding, you cannot do odd number, guys. Try to light that one up. Make sure it's good. Yep. Here you go. Oh. This one just overlap that one. You don't want that. Now, tear this one off. I'm gonna put this one right here, okay? So, I just want to center this one up if you can. You know what, before I put this one, I recommend you guys need to cover with the pattern paper right there. Or another piece of this, you know why? Because I don't have another piece to cover this one to get into that hole. I think that it, what I'm going to do is just cover the pieces of paper. When I'm doing this one, I did not do that way. I do binding different. But right now, I'm going to do this. So this piece is will be... Well, you don't have to cut the strip like this, just cancel this one, but that one you can not do that one, then just do like this, okay? So I'm going to, let's see. So this one will look this better. Let me see if the paper is level. Yep. So I'm scoring this because this one will go in the hole there. So this one cut three and three eight. Okay. All the paper. I mean, got tape. So you have to skip this part, the one I insert the tiny piece of paper there. Okay.
Toshum Youth making a album use a lot of easy pay. Just make your biting it, you know, sticker. Here you go. I like it. Okay. This look more thicker. You can do this the same thing with this, just a big piece. But right now, I'm going to. Try to get all the adhesive there. Let's admit this spot. Now, time to put this in there. This a flap for a uh, here a paper bag now. You use your score tape one side. Burnish this. Okay, now time to put a paper bag in there. So, which one you want to be in the front or the back is up to you. Okay, you know, if I like this one to be in the front, to be up next. This one should be right there and 
this one, that one, and this one will be the last one. Okay. So I'm gonna start peeling this, the last one here. And I'm gonna light this one up. Make sure this is lay flat straight. You don't want to crick it like this, okay? Well, what you can do is do like this guy. And you want to make sure this is not to the edge of the paper. Otherwise, you will have a hard time open. Just make sure this one is not really over. So I'm trying to stay this one right there. You can press the crease there. So Now you can use your pattern paper back there. Okay. But I'm gonna do the same thing with all these. to make sure this one is not over. Here we go. That's look pretty good. So I'm gonna do all this the same and now you can put the paper back there. I will be okay guys so now I'm back so now time to uh, cover on the back so we're biting already so going to light this one up. do all this okay guys so remember what really is important the, the paper you cut for the binding and the pattern paper have to be the same uh, with okay otherwise it will not look good guys okay and I'm gonna do this cover this off the camera and I will be right back guys.